A Picasso painting stolen nearly 14 years ago has finally made it back home to Paris. The American ambassador to France and the French culture minister attended the homecoming. The painting, declared stolen in 2001, was intercepted by American customs officials in December 2014 at New Jersey's Newark Airport after being sent from Belgium. For me, as the Minister of Culture, it is a real joy to recover here a national treasure of such significance. It is a stolen piece of art. It's not just a lost possession. It is a piece of memory, of history, of a country's soul and spirit. The painting, 33 centimeters by 46 centimeters, is regarded by many, including Pablo Picasso's grandson, Oliver Picasso, as one of the prime examples of the Cubist movement. It is most of all that a work of my grandfather could be stolen, hidden. A painting exists only in the eyes of those who look at it. And to imagine that such a painting of such importance from the Cubist period was stolen is shocking. French officials said the painting will now undergo extensive restoration after its tumultuous journey in a bid to restore it to its previous glory. After three months of restoration in a secret location in Paris, the painting will be rehung in the Paris Museum by the end of the year.